chocolate chip cookies. You gave those up for Lent. I did, uh, Steve, and and I know it's your you know it's a real sacrifice for you because you are a fanatic about chocolate chip. There cookies. are two cracks to me. There's actual crack, yeah, and then right. there's chocolate chip cookies, right? Uh, which are you know very they're right up there with crack, right up there with crack. But are you familiar with who invented chocolate chip cookies? I just I'm read gonna say Fred Phelps. Uh, no, it wasn't Fred Phelps. <laughs> I was going to say he wants all, hate him he so wanted all gay people dead. Um, <laughs> I, I, I hearken back to the, I know that the, the Toll House, Nabisco cookie, uh, that thing, I don't know who actually invented them. Is it somebody prominent? I think it's important to share this information oh, because I, need I saw the story this morning. I'm like, you know what? That is something that's worth celebrating. And yes, it has to do with the Toll House, but Toll House is an actual place. Yes. Yeah, I know. Uh, what Do you know what it is? No. I, is, it, is it down south? No, it's not. And that's why I, I think people ought to know because they think they might have an idea. People ought to people know. People need to know. <laughs> no. A, a chocolate chip cookies were invented by a woman named Ruth Wakefield. She was a Depression era owner of the Toll House Restaurant in Whitman, Massachusetts. Yeah, Whitman, Massachusetts. Yeah. Wow. I always thought it was a southern, like a South Carolina, no. Georgia thing. And she decided that in 1938 that she would up the appeal of some butterscotch cookies that she had been serving alongside dishes of ice cream by putting some cut up pieces of a chocolate bar <sighs> in it. Oh, and I would have banged her nine ways to Sunday. <laughs> And it was. She's a genius. The American or was a genius. Icon was born. Now at the time, yeah, taking two like a hybrid of two different desserts was. Uh, it really wasn't done back then. The you church just, frowned on it. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> obviously it was a sin. Her recipe actually led to the invention of the chocolate chip. It did not exist oh. before she created the cookies. Well, so I was going to say, you had to cut up chocolate bars in order to do that. That's exactly yeah. it. So there were no... You can't do that. <laughs> the people are going to make fun of you if you bring your stupid cookie out looking like that. They're it looks like there's bugs on it. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. Yeah. They're all going to laugh at you. There's bugs on it. That's what Why don't you find called. a man and settle down? No! Uh-huh. I have a dream. No, but it was uh, it, it actually created a food product uh, for use in, in a specific recipe. Created. The, the chocolate chip. An industry. Yeah, and so it was after that, she was granted, she granted the rights to her recipe to Nestle. Uh, the chocolate chip or Toll House cookie. I love it. I love it. Uh, also uh, became the most frequently made back of the package recipe and still is, by the way. When If you want to make the perfect chocolate chip cookie, follow the recipe on the back of the Nestle's Toll House. Actually, it's right there. Uh, you, you get the, the Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli or are awesome. Get those chocolate chips and follow that recipe. Yeah, Ghirardelli uh, brownies, too, mm-hmm. if you've ever had those. Now, this article asks the question, why have so few people heard of this woman? Uh, part of the reason for Wakefield's relative obscurity is that her main focus during her lifetime was on her restaurant. And, and killing children. Well, that too. Yeah, she was, that kind of sully yeah. things for her. No, but uh, not her personal brand. Ruth Wakefield's Toll House was one of Massachusetts' most beloved restaurants, huh. renowned for its classic New England food, colonial decor, and exceptional service. So, so um, is she never... So the chocolate chip cookie... She never had a ownership of that. No, just she sold it to Nestle. House cook. Oh, she sold it to Nestle. Yeah, yeah. Does she, it, at the time, of the rights. How much money she made off that sale? You know what? I don't know. And by the way, Nick, can you see if the Toll House still exists? Mm-hmm. Uh, because if so, that's a place I'd like to. That'd be on a bucket list. Oh, for me, yeah. absolutely. And apparently, she was. Uh, oh no. It doesn't? It burned down in a fire. It's a strip club. <laughs> it's oh, it strip burned down club. in a fire? Not a flood? <laughs> it burned the down in cookie. a flood. The hairy cookie. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the place where the Toll House cookie was invented. Now Savannah shows you her vagina. 